the breathtaking, spectacular and stunning valleys of Azad Jammu and Kashmir with an abundance of natural resources. But sadly, as far as human resources and education is concerned, they camouflage a dismal story. Imagine children going to school which has no classroom, no chairs or tables, no stationery, no play accessories, no buildings, and worse, no teachers. And training was unheard of. Imagine what this does to children. All over Pakistan, illiteracy is a sad fact of life and Azad Jammu and Kashmir is no exception. High dropout rates and low enrollment in school is certainly not because parents do not value education. It's because economic realities determine family priorities. But there are those who are not prepared to accept and allow the situation to deteriorate. We decided that at least a beginning should be made to demonstrate that quality education can be given to the talented children amongst the poor and underprivileged classes which reside mainly in the villages and the poorer sections of the cities. The story goes back almost 14 years ago when the first school was established in one of the remotest areas of Azad Jammu and Kashmir in Rawalakot and appropriately named the Pearl Valley Public School. pilot project of the Kashmir Education Foundation, a non-government organization. It was the first public school built to international standards and equipped with just about every facility that a child may need in any corner of the world. Sixteen years of tireless efforts have made this a jewel of an institution. It provides children an environment for personal growth and learning and nurtures leadership qualities in them. Children are the focus of our attention. They want to be the future leaders. We want to make sure that they are stretched in a way that makes them think of the, of the whole world as a window of opportunity. We don't want to confine them culturally, religiously, or in any shape or form. But in Pakistan, there is a more serious problem. Female illiteracy. With the second lowest literacy levels in the world and low economic indicators, girls' education is hardly a priority. But for the local carpenter's daughter, Faiza, there was good news. Though her father could hardly afford educating her even in a government school, he valued education. Supported by the Kashmir Education Foundation's scholarship scheme for the underprivileged, Faiza had the opportunity to compete with the best at Pearl Valley, where girls outnumber boys. But poverty is not a criteria for admission to the school, as all pupils go through a strict test carried out by the Qaid Azam University in Islamabad. And the main purpose of the test was to assess the basic capabilities of children rather than their learned capabilities. So this test provides a very good opportunity for the children who are not capable of uh, having some tuition or some extra coaching from the parents. The children who don't have educated parents or do, who don't have very high social class. The success of any educational system depends on the quality of its teachers. At the Teachers Training Institute attached to the school, trainers from the voluntary services overseas share their skills with local teachers in modern methods of learning. Most Pakistani teachers have a knowledge of their subject which they've acquired by rote learning. Many of them do not have an understanding or an ability to use and apply what it is that they've learned. These are the sorts of skills that we're giving to our teachers so that they can develop those skills in the pupils. 
With a knowledge-based approach to learning, all the teaching is imparted during school hours with no pressure of homework on the students and parental involvement is encouraged through regular parent-teachers meetings. With the high quality of education imparted at Pearl Valley schools, it's hardly surprising that visitors are generally taken aback. It's amazing. I can't think of any other word. You come into a school that is better equipped than many, many and perhaps most British primary schools, and it sits in a completely in a rural community. And the children are confident, articulate, and want to be open with you. I saw children who are functioning at UK levels on the national curriculum, but who come from very, very poor backgrounds and whose parents are illiterate. And yet these children's expectations are of themselves are higher than many UK children. Then in 2005, disaster struck. In perhaps the worst earthquakes in the region, almost all the schools in Azad Jammu and Kashmir were reduced to a rubble with thousands of lives lost. Pearl Valley School was the exception. The school was at the forefront in providing shelter to hundreds of affected families. With the experience and an excellent track record, the Kashmir Education Foundation was set to push the goalpost further. We are more than satisfied that we are going in the right direction. And that is the reason why we decided that we must set up another school on the request of the UK community who had seen the school and they promised to finance their school. And the school was to be set up in um, a village called Pakowal near Basali, about 30 kilometers from Pindi. Here too, teachers' training takes priority with the establishment of the second quality training center. And it hardly took any time for the school to buzz with activity. And we can certainly say this here, within one week, the children's eyes are shining. They are actively involved in everything that they are doing. Pearl Valley this time achieved excellent examination results. But I think the thing that fills my heart with joy is that the children can get those results, but they, they are also equipped as lifelong learners and they can decision make, they can deal with other people, they can work as part of a team, they can work creatively. As they say, success breeds success. And today the Kashmir Education Foundation has once again pushed the goalposts even further. A third school sponsored by the UK businesses is well under construction in Banjosa and ready to carry the torch further. A silent revolution is in the making. Today Faiza is a grown-up lady and passes on her skills to her siblings. The teachers are disciplined and I also teach my brother and sister about this discipline. The teachers are cleanliness and they, they say that we should respect our elders and work hard to success in life. So I also told them to work hard and if we want to become something we should work hard. These are the sort of girls who are the agents of change and are now making their way to some of the best institutions in the country. They are the leaders of tomorrow. So it was only through the school that I came to know about the lums. Otherwise, I would I would have been an ordinary Ravla Koti person. But now I'm in lums and I'm a different person. And I really contribute all that to KEF, Pearl Valley, my school, my teachers, and everyone from KEF. The students from the Kashmir Education Foundation schools will undoubtedly distinguish themselves by becoming leaders in their profession. Their respective achievements will be rooted in a spirit of patriotism, morality, 
service to humanity and above all tolerance in a violent and extremist world it is these children who will go on in time to make a difference kashmir education foundation has achieved the results only because of the support of the expats so the communities of pakistanis living in usa and uk have supported this project and that is why we have come up to this level where we have now three schools and one teacher training center i thank you for the support and i really hope that you will continue supporting this project now i leave you with the few images of our latest and third school which has just come up in banjosa valley in kashmir